I have asked what is James Delaney in the past, and we are getting closer to a definitive answer. Why would I ask what is James Delaney? Well, because James seems to possibly be more than human. Since the last time I asked this question, we have gotten a big part of the answer. One of the questions I asked was how does James get all the information he gets about the treaty signing again, about Horace talking on the shore, about Salish, and we find out in the fourth episode, James has the ability to use his third eye. Third eye is an imaginary eye here that someone can use to see into the spiritual or energy world. And this is how James gets into people's heads, which we've seen him do multiple times throughout the series. But even knowing that James has a third eye, there's still some reasons that make me question, is he more than human? Now, two of the things I brought up in the previous video are from right in the first episode. When he first runs into Zilpha, Zilpha says, they told me you were dead, and James's response is, I am. And then when James meets with Brace, Brace says to James, you look the same, and James says, I'm not. And this made me question, is James saying more than we think he is? Is James really dead, and is he not the same as he used to be? There's other things that have happened that have caused me to ask more questions. In the third episode, James is looking for the treaty to Nuka Sound in the basement and he runs into Winter. And at this point, Winter says to him, I want to be a wolf too. Now this is right after we see James take a bite out of the silver tooth man's neck. We know that Winter sees through to the goodness in James. And a lot of people have a hard time doing this, but Winter does not. So when Winter says something about James, it's worth taking note of. Now, does this mean anything? Maybe that's just the way she interpreted him biting the guy's neck or maybe winter sees something in james that we don't the scar on james's eye okay this is not a tattoo it's a scar but it's not a um an accidental scar it has a very definitive shape to it this is a symbol of some type i don't know what the symbol is because i don't know how to google symbols we know that james was taken captive for a while it could be he was branded by his owners but it also could mean that he's a part of some type of group of people that have special abilities or powers. Now, is James a part of a bigger group? Is he operating underneath something that is bigger than himself? Well, I, I have very few reasons to believe this, but I do have one. It's really odd what happens when James and Countess Musgrove speak in the magic box when they're doing the disappearing trick. At one point, Countess Musgrove's response to him him is no, you have been assigned to America. Who assigned James to America? This, this, and I closed caption this point. So this really has me confused. I don't know if they're just talking about something. Who assigned him? That, that's what I want to know. I didn't think there was anybody that would be over James. I didn't think that anybody had any decision making on what James was doing except James. But this line from Countess Musgrove implies that there is somebody above James bossing him around, assigning him to where he is to go. And James is going to America. So this was really, really curious. And I, I don't know what the hell it meant. The last thing when James is attacked by the giant, and the giant gets the upper hand on James at first and gets a really, really hard blow on James's head. He actually cracks James's skull. As soon as he hits him, we see blood just come out of the top of his head. The giant interacts with James for a second, like he's testing to see if he killed James. And to his best assessment, it seems that he thinks he killed James. And then James just comes back to life. It seemed like such a severe wound to his head. At that point, I'm like, what are they gonna do with James? Like this guy literally just killed James. What, what, what's gonna happen? But again, I'm, it doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. I'm, I'm no doctor and who knows what that wound did to him. Now, I'm starting to think that the only thing about James that is different than a normal human is that he knows how to use his third eye. One other thing about James that does explain a lot about his capabilities and his intelligence is that James is an INTJ. It's a Myers-Briggs personality type. And INTJs are known as masterminds. This is what James is. James is a mastermind. They have an incredible ability to see big pictures and accomplish things. There's not many INTJs in the world. A couple INTJs throughout history, Isaac Newton and Christopher Nolan. An INTJ type person is a very reserved, introverted person, but they're extremely powerful people. There's quite a few scenes where James's INTJ personality really comes out. One example is when he visits the chemist, Mr. Chumundley, 
And we see when James walks in, he has a question, which Mr. Chumadly responds, I wrote a book about chemistry, read it. And James's response to him is, I did and it impressed me. Now think about the situation that James is walking into. James has no formal education in chemistry. And the man in front of him has essentially spent his life studying chemistry. But James in no way feels inferior to this man. As a matter of fact, he's complimenting him like he's a superior to him, saying, yeah, your book impressed me. Because the thing is, is James is a real intelligent guy. And James actually could understand chemistry to the level that Mr. Chumminedly does. But James doesn't care about understanding chemistry in its finest details. The only part about chemistry that James cares about is using it to help him accomplish his plan. And so this is why he drafts the chemist. We see James doing this with all the people in London. Whoever is needed for his plan, James is drafting and putting into place. This is all very characteristic of an INTJ. So at this point, I am thinking that all James is is an INTJ personality type, which makes him extremely intelligent and gives him a tremendous ability to accomplish anything he wants. The only thing about James that is different than a normal human is that he knows how to use his third eye. So if you were to force me to give you a definite answer after six episodes as to what James Delaney is, I would say James Delaney is an INTJ with a third eye. But we're going to have to wait for the next two episodes to know for sure. Don't be afraid to like the video if you did. If you have any friends that watch Taboo, go ahead and share the video with them. It'll give you something to talk about. If you want to make sure you catch all of our videos on Taboo, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell and you will be notified every time we upload one. You have a great day.